when you go out there and give someone a bottle of water and they smile because you've you've given them something that they didn't really like expect to get it, it's just an amazing feeling. People walk up to us out of nowhere and just ask us, what are, you know, who are you people? What are you? And we, we tell them we're Muslim. We call you the white coats because yeah, we call you the white coats. Walking in the heart of Sydney's CBD, it's hard to ignore the faces of the homeless that share the footpaths and train stations of this vibrant city. Determined to make a difference, a band of young Muslim men, affectionately known as the White Coats, formed the Homeless Run, capturing the attention of viewers from around the world. One Path joined them over the weekend for an exclusive glimpse into what it's like to be a White Coat. What would make you leave your family, your home on a Saturday and a Friday night and go out and do this? Uh, for me personally and for a lot of brothers that I've spoken to, it's just to go out there on the path of Allah, or go out there for the path of the one that created us. After picking up food from local restaurants who have generously offered numerous free food packs, the young men set out from their local mosque to designated spots throughout Sydney's CBD where the homeless usually congregate. Apart from the cooked food, they also distribute small homemade packs offering the basic necessities and comforts that most of us take for granted. So, so what do you normally have in the, um, in the pack? Okay, so we have female packs and we have male packs, depending on the colour. This, this is a female pack. As you see, we have a pillow. I've got uh, toilet rolls, we've got socks, we've got hair ties, uh, we've got shampoo, wet ones. As you see, they take, they take a lot of time in, in preparing them. So, so who packs these packs? Um, a lot of our people on our Facebook page, if they want to help and they want to contribute, um, they do these packs for us and we go pick them up. Recent figures suggest that there has been a 26% rise in those sleeping rough on Sydney's streets. It is a confronting reality with no simple solution. When people say homeless, we automatically think uh, drug affected or, or alcoholic. Is, is that the case? Well, most of the cases, I, most of the, the people I speak to, it's a lot of financial problems, really. Have you had any training in any particular field? Yes, I have a master's degree uh, from the University of Western Sydney in uh, uh, the health industry. I haven't had a job for 10 years. I don't know how I put up with it, but uh, I, yeah, I, I guess I can only count it that my God has rescued me. <laughs> Although their contribution may appear as small, their efforts are highly appreciated amongst the homeless. How do you how do you feel about these boys coming out um, and handing? Yeah, we'd, we'd be screwed without them. Not many other people bring food out, and it takes the Muslims to do it. That says something. Do you look forward to them coming out every single week? Yeah, I've been messaging them when are you going to come, and they're having days off. Oh well, um, we depend on um, we call you the white coats because. Yeah, and that um, we depend on you fellas and also the other people out there that can feed us. Yeah, we depend on you fellas. We miss you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we sure do. After numerous repeat visits, it's easy to notice the sense of familiarity the men share with the homeless, often reaching in for hugs, handshakes, and even calling each other by their first names. Salads, oh, hey? Yes, salads. <laughs> like salads, yes. <laughs> this is the different face of Australia's Muslims that is so often overshadowed by the negativity we have become accustomed to on a daily basis. We do change a lot of people's mind about Islam. This is not what we're out there really to do, we're out there to feed the homeless, but some cases we have people walk up to us out of nowhere and just ask us, what are, you know, who are you people, what are you? And we, we tell them we're Muslim. Oh, well, well honestly, um, the, the only Muslims I see are the ones on TV. What do you say? And, um, and, and that's all the violent ones, you know. Um, that's all you're seeing, like you use He's all want to kill us and, and all of that kind of stuff from what's being fed to me on TV and, and what you read and write, you know, um, what are in the newspapers and stuff. And um, now that I've actually met a couple of lads, they're good lads, mate. Yeah. I like them. One of the Muslim brothers come here, they'll come here and say, may all go up there. That's how it is, you know. And it's, yeah, when, you, when you eat, when you eat um, spiteful food, it doesn't taste good. The Muslim brothers say food tastes good because it's out of love. But if you eat spiteful food, you can taste the difference. 
Apart from leaving a positive impression amongst the homeless, passers-by are quick to be touched by their actions. Even if the people that we're not even giving food to, normal people, non-Muslims, just normal people are getting off the train, giving us money and saying, you know what, this is for your cause. I was just walking through and I'm about to get on the light rail and just kind of brought a tear to my eye really to see what you were doing, so I thought it was lovely. Some have, however, alleged that the homeless run is a mere stunt at getting people to convert to Islam. However, the homeless feel otherwise. They tried to say nasty things about you, but nah, the homeless people go, go away. We told you them had to a go. few people come down and ask about yeah. this. Well, what, what did they say? Oh, we've been trying to be converted, stuff yeah. like that. Do you bring us books or pictures or anything or try and talk to us about anything? I said, yeah, they do. They bring us food and they feed us. And they say hello, have a yarn, how we are, and they bring us toiletries and any, you know, and oh, okay, but he went. He didn't even go past this tunnel, we told him what for. What, what, now when these boys come out and give you the food, do they try to convert you? No, no they wish us good night, ask how we're going, and it's real good food too. The homeless run continues to grow, and although it may not provide a solution to the problem, their footprint has been truly felt. How do you uh, feel about the white coats? Choice. Oh, we love you. <laughs> so you like the white coats? Yeah.